But um, from that perspective, we want to go into the income statement and we want to what we call recast earnings mm -hmm. because your goal with your accountant has been to lower your earnings for however many years mm -hmm. so that you don't pay as much tax. Right. And that's a very common thing for most business owners. But if you have basically no income in your business and people are looking at your business and saying, hmm, this business doesn't make any money, then how valuable is that? <laughs> right. Right, exactly. So what we want to do is we want to start recasting your your um, business earnings. And I'll use one example. Um, we When we recast one person's uh, business earnings, they had a motorhome that was worth about $200,000 on the books of their landscaping business. Mm -hmm. And it's like, hey, um, the new owner probably doesn't need your motorhome to run the landscaping business. And they're like, yeah, yeah, you know, I, I go to a trade show once a year and I write it off and that's kind of how I do it so that I can have my motorhome. It's like, yeah, but we need to recast all of that back into the books to show the true value of your business, right? Mm -hmm. And so we recast that. And you can that. do that? I mean, that's a thing you can do? You have to. Okay. Well, I'm just yeah. curious because it's almost like, I don't know, you know, going back in time and, you know, cooking yeah. your books a little. That's what it sounds yeah. a little bit like, but you're, it's yeah. not. Well, people travel there. They like go to Italy for a trade show and they, they're at the trade show for one day, but they write off a two week vacation. Oh, I see how you're saying. So you're saying there's certain expenses you can take out that are. Yeah. You know, it's like, does the person need to go to the Italy shoe show? No, I just wanted to go to Italy and we went there so I could, you know, write off the, right off the travel and some of this stuff. And it's like, okay, well that was $14,000. Mm -hmm. So that $14,000 trip goes back in to the recasted earnings, because if that person doesn't need to do it, they actually have a $14,000 benefit for next year when they don't go to Italy on their books. Right. So a lot of this kind of stuff between the balance sheet and the income statement have to be recast. If you have family in the business and your family, um, potentially you're paying, I don't know, your son $50,000 when you're paying everybody else who's doing the same job, 40,000. So you're right. giving your son a premium of $10,000 for the same job as everybody else. Well, that has to be recast because chances are the new owner isn't going to hire your son for 10,000 more than he's hiring everybody else. Mm -hmm. Okay. So all that of all these sounds things, reasonable now. <laughs> yeah. All of these things happen every day in business. Mm -hmm. So we need to spend some time, go back through all of those things, recast the earnings, recast the balance sheet mm -hmm. to get a more clear picture. And right. once we have a clear picture of the true, let's call it a balance sheet for the new owner and the true income and uh, expense report for the new owner, then we look at the multiples of that.